This demo is really, I think, a fantastic how-to demo. Many customers want to learn how to do this, and here is a brief demo on how to delete data from an existing based object. Not tables, but the data from the based object and its associated metadata tables. So let's quickly go into this. Remember, I have some based objects, and what if I already had loaded data? What if I had already matched and merged? And for whatever reason, I want to delete the content of a based object. Notice that is different than deleting a based object. If, let me acquire a base, uh, a lock. If you remove a base object, you're going to remove everything. The relationships, the validations, the staging, etc. So that's not what you want to do. If that's your need, it is better to create a brand new ORS and then import whatever you want. So we're not deleting based objects. In other words, we're not deleting tables. We want the data. Let me go into my usual diagram to show you where we're at. So in this demo, I want to show you how to delete the data, not the tables. And so the assumption is that we're in the based object, say address. And we have data in some of the uh, affiliated metadata tables and in the based object itself. How do we do this? It could be that I've loaded data and I want to do this again, or I've matched and I want to basically start from scratch. So that's the context we're in. Now, I'm going to go to Oracle, and the one I think that I'm going to work with is the address. So notice I'm in the TRN lab, which is my schema for the ORS that I'm in, and I'm in address, the based object, and I have data. Now, how did I get data in here? Because I just ran the load job for the first time, so I have data, and I have data. Let's assume I made various mistakes and I want to delete the data from here. Never do it from within Oracle. If you do that, you will corrupt the metadata. What you want to do is learn a few things about the underlying tables, and in specifically, there is a, uh, there is a package called the CMX, CM XUT, and in there we have various store procedures that are encrypted that we can call. The one we want is the clean data. So notice I can't really see it, but if you read the literature and if you listen to the module on user exits, you will, you will get some information on this. Now let me show you. I want to do, and I already pretty much have it here, you do have to read some of the documentation to make sense out of this. Let me maximize this and let me just quickly make this bigger. This is what we're after. We are going to call the clean table from the CMXUT package and that's really the one that does the work. Of course we got to substitute the arguments correctly. So what I did in this script here, I basically create a, a procedure called John underscore cleanup and notice I give, it, I give it the based object that I want. Now, you do have to understand the relationship of based objects. If I try to clean up C customer, it's going to give me an error saying, wait a minute, it has a child. So the way to do this is you got to get rid of the child first. Now, it doesn't cascade downward, so you really should start with the child and make sure there's no typos here. So what I want to do is get rid of the data, not the table, of the base object C address. I'm checking for spellings. And essentially, pretty much at that point, what I want to do is, is uh, let's see, uh, pretty much I guess I wanted to compile, but I guess I could just run the statement here. And let's see if it ran correctly. Okay. And let's, the way we're going to test this is, I think it said it ran correctly. Now I'm going to go to the tables and refresh my data. And hopefully it did work. Oh, let me try it again. Okay, so let's see. Here it is. And actually the script, remember I'm running, oh, I know what I did. I, when I ran it, it, let's see. It basically, I think, saved it. So let me go into procedures. There goes John Cleanup. 
Okay, and I want to compile it. Notice it's still address, and I want to run it. Here it is. That's my mistake there. Notice at the bottom, process, process exited. Let's see if I can scroll up. Okay, and notice clean table, C address successful. Let's go back quickly to the ORS, refresh my tables, and go to address. Let me refresh my tables. This one should have worked. And let me refresh the tables here. And let me go to address. For some reason, I don't think this is refresh. And I don't think it's me. I think it's the Oracle table. There it is. It wasn't refreshing. So now I open it up. I make sure that I'm in the right table. And I go to data. So the issue was that it was not refreshing. I had to click here in the SQL developer to refresh. There it is. All the address data is gone. Now what? Well, let's assume I had some issues. Now I can go back and redo what I did. In this example, I had just gone to the load and I had run the the uh, C, the CRM address to load the CRM addresses. Notice how many times I've run this. But now I got to run it again because I just deleted the data. So here it is. I'm going to run it again. And 45 records, which is what I had before. And then I need, the, this is a CRM address. I need the address for the ship to and the build to address, the sales ship to address. So notice here, these were loaded already, but all the data is gone. So I got to re execute this. Otherwise, there is nothing in my based object. I deleted all the data. Refresh, and here it is right now 26 records. Okay, and now what I need to do now is go back and uh, I need the build to address, and that would be the last one that I need. So here's the previous one. 84 records. Of course, the data is gone because I ran the uh, clean data. So I re-execute this and refresh status and now run it again. I'm um, with 84 records again. Okay. So, and that's, that's how it works. Now, be careful. Uh, this is, this is just showing you how to clean up data. Whenever you're deleting data objects or excuse me, whenever you're deleting data from a based object, you really have to understand how the relationships work. So notice I was deleting address, but but perhaps I, by uh, not consciously, added more mistakes because I didn't delete the other children. Okay. So now if I deleted address, I can delete customer. Now, this would be a useful tool when you have data and you say, let me start from scratch. Okay. So that was just a quick view of this and thank you.